Hi friends, welcome to Tasty Bites. Today we will make spinach soup. Before giving it a try, I really never knew it's going to replace my favorite tomato soup. So let's get started. Uh, you would require about 100 grams of spinach, two medium-sized onions, two to three cloves of garlic, 150 ml of milk, one bay leaf, one teaspoon of cooking oil, one tablespoon of wheat flour, and salt and pepper according to your taste. This should take about 10 minutes to prepare, and total cooking time 15 minutes. And this, uh, uh, these ingredients would be sufficient to serve three people. All right. So, first you nicely wash and coarsely chop the spinach. Put it in blender along with garlic and coarsely chopped onions. Pulse it for a couple of times till a smooth mixture is attained. Now, in a deep, thick bottom pan, add 1 teaspoon of vegetable oil and spread it across the pot with the spatula and wait until it gets warm. Now, put 1 bay leaf and saute till it becomes fragrant. This should take about uh, 5 to 10 seconds. Now add the spinach mix and saute till it cooks well. So you would be able to see color change in about 5 minutes. So that's the time you would uh, notice that yes the spinach is cooked and now we sprinkle some wheat flour over it and keep stirring so that no lumps are formed. Okay, so you have to sprinkle just like you sprinkle uh, salt on your dish. Okay. Now add milk and stir well. Bring it to a boil and then let it cook on medium flame for about 4 to 5 minutes. You will notice that the soup is getting thicker. Add salt and pepper and serve hot. Well, I topped my soup with a dollop of creme cottage cheese and a dash of beetroot juice. Okay, now comes my favorite part. Let's discuss about the nutritional facts. Well, overall, um, it's a very low calorie, low carbohydrate, low cholesterol uh, soup. And uh, the one of the best parts about it, spinach is a very, very, very good source of vitamin A, iron, C and calcium. So it's really a wonder uh, vegetable for your eyes. And as you know, uh, milk is a good source of calcium and phosphorus and vitamin D also. I use full cream milk. Uh, that was cow's milk and uh, onions are also a very good source of vitamin C. And looking into other ingredients, bay leaf, that's also a very good source of vitamin A and it has a lot of anti-inflammatory, digestive health, heart health and in cancer prevention role. And looking at garlic, yes, very strong flavoured <laughs> thing but yes, it is. Uh, it has amazing properties for cholesterol control, anti-hypertensive, it fights cold and also for cancer prevention. So do give it a try and don't forget to leave your comments below. Thank you and stay healthy.